Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So you're trying to figure out if you're wanting solar or where you're gonna put it, depending on, you don't have a field, you're, you're not in an open area, you're kind of closed, you're renting a house, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff. You can't afford to have somebody come and, and you know, mount the panels up on the roof and you're trying to figure out your trees, uh, where are they located, the angle, you know, can you even do it? Um, and you're, are you stuck with just a generator? Not everybody has an open field like you see a lot on YouTube. Everybody's an open field. So what I did is I started with this transfer switch. Um, I'm going to run it off my generator and see if it actually worked. So this is the transfer switch I got. It was really easy to hook up. And I went ahead and it came with the cord. It's the kit um, that I could actually plug into my generator. Um, right from that outlet right there. You mount that on the wall or outside, inside. Plug that in, fire up the generator and you got power to those circuits. So I said, well, why can't I do that with, with a panel? So I went ahead and got online, started researching, doing some things, found this 30% um, <clears throat> off on uh, battery storage in your system. I was like, all right, there's already a discount. That's cool. Uh, that'll help. And uh, I ended up settling for the EG4 from Signature Solar. Uh, it just seemed for me to work best for me, and, and so far so good. I, I, I like it. Um, and then I had to figure out, okay, I got the system. Now what kind of panels, where can I put the panels? I don't have a, a, a field or, you know, not yet. Um, you know, there's different things that you can put at angles. There's different ideas. Start researching online now, as far as what people maybe had to get ideas on how to mount them. Um, <clears throat> and some of those were expensive. Some of those just weren't practical. Uh, like probably like what you're dealing with with what you're seeing probably if you looked in your backyard you're like I don't have any room I came across one like this and I was like well that kind of gives me an idea on twisting it and angling it um and I said okay maybe that's an option so I I went ahead and uh <clears throat> got some I said okay I'll get I'll get the 10 panels get those uh, ordered with the kit and so here's the truck showing up with the panel so there's 10 panels standing up and I wanted to show you this because not everything is always smooth. You want it to be smooth, but this is at least, you know, what I had to deal with. Uh, the panels come. You can see the pallets all busted up. So this is kind of sometimes the the start of what can or, or hopefully not going to be any problems. Um, this only seemed to be the only problem uh, was the panels all, I mean, the uh, pallet was all beat up. So we got, a, we got these off of the truck. Um, and then you can see this panel is just disintegrated. But I mean, there are the pallet. But the panels actually <laughs> turned out okay, which was a good thing. Um, all your controllers, everything, in the, and in my case, I ordered 30,000 watts, or basically six batteries. And it came with a cart, so that was a nice thing to have. Um, so this is how it was shipped from them. Uh, so that actually worked out really good. They did a good job putting it together. Um, in this case, it looked like somebody had a, a good time walking around on top of the, on top of this uh, pallet, and you see the, some footprints and some marks from the, from a forklift. And then there's your here's where somebody was standing on it. These are just things to think about as you're setting up your system of what may may happen. It's just a little blip on the, on the issue. Uh, I ended up contacting Signature Solar. They were awesome as far as dealing with it. They just had me send some pictures just, uh, you know, just to cover them and to cover me. That way they had and end up uh, working that out with them. And they were they were great on that. So that was a that was a nice first issue to deal with. And they were great on it. So um, so I'm unloading all the the uh, battery uh, cabinet and then started getting the batteries ready. I said, oh, let me get my wall started. So I kind of used some two by threes. They were cheaper than the two by fours and they hold up just as well. So I kind of set those as almost like a floating wall. Um, here's my uh, brackets. I just had some heavy duty brackets, found some studs in the walls, mounted it to that because I want to make this portable down the road. If I, you know, when, when uh, we move, I can actually take this whole setup with me and keeps it simple enough it's not going to be perfectly simple, but it's going to be a lot simpler than if I mounted everything solid. So um, did that. Put some plywood on there. I didn't have a picture of that. And then put the cement board on there just for protection. 
and then started laying things out. So I used the tape to kind of lay out things, just just to give me an idea, and I thought it'd be kind of cool looking. Um, so that you just to let me know where my wires were running. So I mounted up the controllers and started loosely hooking things up to get a layout of what I was going to be doing. And then started the battery charge. So the, remember, your your reason you're getting the system is to reduce your power. Well, you're going to get a big boost because uh, on your power bill because charging these things it it it's a ouch. So budget in for that as well for a bigger power bill yeah, initially. Um, Let's see, so it's just more of the wiring that I'm doing here, just to kind of show you what I was doing. There's the breakers and the lugs, and then here's the batteries all in the box, getting those squared away. You gotta bolt those, screw those in. They're about 100 pounds a piece, so you know if you need help, definitely. Uh, here's my AC panel that I have. I'm just using that as my junction box or my sub panel. So wired accordingly. Um, there's a really good uh, guy on the internet. I'll leave it in the description. Uh, he actually teaches a lot of electricians. So here's the same outlet that's on my generator. I wanted to show you a picture of that. So I just take the plug, plug it in there. Uh, went ahead and laid out my panels. I wanted to at least start generating something in there and kind of get an idea. I, I actually raised those by hand and kind of uh, monitored my power, see which angle would work. In some cases, you can't always have an angled you have the perfect angle all year long. I think in some areas it's like 60 degrees in the winter, 30 degrees in the summer. So I kind of figured out where I was going to put it and leave it. Um, so this in, in this case, I used some channel. Channel seemed to work best for me. Uh, <clears throat> I tried out a couple pieces of, of uh, shelving, which kind of makes it flimsy. I also tried the chain link fence part. thought, well, if I raise it up, hinge, hinge at the top and raise it up, it would actually work as an awning. It didn't work. So um, so I ended up going with this way at an angle. I left it low enough to where you can't see over the, you know, if your neighbors, you know, your nosy neighbors or just people in general don't see what you have. You kind of angle them. And then I can move my trailer and my truck back there and still get those in. And then I, and then I bought this um, cord holder so I could actually run my cables across without running them over with the trailer or the truck. And then here it is going into the uh, the little disconnect box. That's that's what you want to have when you're running your panels. Keep it safe for you. And then here's my syst system. As I'm getting closer to wiring it up, um, I actually just put some outlets underneath there in case I need to isolate it down to basically by itself, almost like a generator. I can cut everything off. So this is just setting up the gener uh, the uh, the controller with uh, 2P1, this one's 2P2. I don't know how your system's set up. I just thought I'd put it up there as a reminder to make sure you get them set up, whichever one you have. And then here's the batteries all wired up, ready to go. Depending on how yours is, I mean, I'm sure a lot of batteries are the same. And then here's, in this case, how you want to flip your uh, dip switches for communication. And again, this is a 30,000 watt system. And then here it is basically set up at the end, just fine tuning. And, and the only reason I have extra uh, PV cable is because down the road, I plan on moving and extending those. I didn't want to cut them too soon. This is the my mobile toolbox that I use for tightening up all the bolting and kind of anything I need. I did an overview on the toolbox, so check out my channel and watch that video, give you an idea what's inside. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Please uh, like and subscribe if you don't mind. I really appreciate uh, uh, having more subscribers and I can afford to do this more and show you a lot more stuff behind the scenes. Hopefully that helps you. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time.